three steps to approaching a distressed seller. Hi, my friends, Clint Stitzer with Stitzer Properties and the Purposeful Practitioner. And it's not prevalent, it's not everywhere, but we're starting to see some inklings of some folks that are in distress. You know, and whether or not that's a result of, of a job loss or a family change or a crisis, um, there are more and more cases popping up in our office where there is a seller under distress and agents are saying, hey, what do I do? How do I handle this situation? And by no means am I going to claim to be the short sale king or the foreclosure king um, or the REO king because there's tons and tons of experts uh, who can teach the tactics and techniques specific to short sales or REOs or things of that nature. Okay. Um, but the most important part about this situation is your approach. So here are three steps that we suggest, okay? Step number one is to understand that anyone who's in distress to the degree that is publicly reported, meaning there's been a notice of default or notice of sale recorded against this property, they are already in receipt of a ton of people reaching out, bothering them with offers, uh, with approaches, they have collections people reaching out to them, they are already under siege. Okay, so step number one is just to understand what they're going through. Okay, because think about it. If there's a notice, the, the title company send out NOD lists and NOS lists all the time. It's, it's a great service. It's great to know. And there are really sophisticated operators all over the country and websites that will tell you which, what, which properties have big equity um, relative to the debt or the, that's filing a notice of default or a notice of sale. Okay, so just know that these people, step one, Understand these people under siege. And it's not fun to be under siege when you're in a place of pain. So first, let's enter a place of empathy. The second step is your approach to, to communication, okay? When you're gonna reach out or someone even reaches out to you, your goal is to build rapport and to develop understanding and to acknowledge their story, okay? It's not about getting into the details of how long until you got your notice of default. That you know, all those, all those nitty-gritty things that are important that you need to know to do a good job are secondary until that person feels heard, understood, and that you have empathy for what they're going through and the pain that's there. Okay, so you want to be different if you're talking to a distressed seller. Number one, know that they're already under siege. Number two, don't even get into the specifics of the situation until you've truly understood what got them to where they're at, and what their actual needs are. Because if you just start leading with offers like, hey, look, you're gonna, you're on notice of sale, you're gonna go to the courthouse steps in 62 days, and I know that you got 100 grand in equity, so I've got four offers for you. No, that person might not need an offer at all, okay? So until you truly know where they're at and have empathy for their situation, you can't provide the service that they actually need. Okay. Step number three is once you fully understand their situation and you have empathy for their challenges and what they need, then you can go devise a strategy. Okay. And there are so many strategies to help someone that's in a distressed position. There could be a quick sale. There could be a sale lease back. Maybe they have fantastic income and came across a hard time for three months and fell behind and they can still service a lease. Uh, and they want to stay in the house, and you might be able to find an investor that would love to buy the proper property off them and have a tenant in place, okay? They might actually need a short sale. They may be upside down, and then there's services for that. They need help. They may need help with mediation in the, in the foreclosure process, and there's resources you can connect them to with that. Or they just may need to sell it very, very quickly and be willing to sell at a discount, and you have investors or other people that you can help with that. Or they may have time to do a traditional sale, okay? All of those strategies are well documented, easy to learn, but until you know the person's need and the person's situation, they're pointless. Okay? So let's do a quick review of the three steps. Number one, understand that they are under siege. Number two, listen completely with empathy and understand what their actual needs are. Number three, once you understand their needs, go find the appropriate strategy. That is how you approach a seller in distress in any market. I hope that you found this useful and quite honestly, I hope that this is a situation that we all rarely ever have to deal with, um, but it's a reality in any market and it's a great skill to have. If you wanna talk about it, shoot me an email, shoot me a call. This is Clint Stitzer with Stitzer Properties and the Purposeful Practitioner wishing you great success in your real estate career.